So hey what's up guys, it's Beastmet here. So in this video I'm going to show you how to run Watch Dog 2 which is a pretty unoptimized game on a low end PC. So now I'm going to show you my specification. So you guys can see my specification are too low. 4GB RAM and AMD A8 processor with a 500mm graphics. That's it. So and with my tweak I hope that you can also run it in 3GB RAM as my RAM in 4GB RAM is only available 3.5GB RAM is pretty low so you guys can see in my memory it's only 512 MB and in my <coughs> here you can see now the first thing which you have to do is just download the tweak for my description link or you can just customize it on your own so what do you have to customize I would open it you can download it for my description as well or you can just customize it with your own I will recommend you to download it or you can also customize it on your own so just you can post and you can write all the value on your file on your own or you can download it from my description So now copy this file and then go to my PC and documents then find my games and then go to watchdog2 and just paste it here and replace it. So this is my first step is done as I'm already done as I'm doing it. The second step is that you have to download a new software which is meme redact the system the download link is in my description you have to download from it there and that what it does it just it just clear a lot of ram or the unused memory which which is just this junk files tame files which all I means this is just this is clear it on its own just what you need to do just open it and tap the clean memory and it will clean the memory for you so these are good applications for good software for gaming purposes or you can you just you just means you just boost your PC performance this I will recommend you to use that that's too good for you and I want to remind you that this tweak will work both in the stream version and the Uplay version as well as the crack version crack version I think will work more better than the Uplay or Steam version because uh, the background services like Uplay service or the stream service isn't running but I have the Uplay version so I'm going to show you by my the gameplay of the Uplay version but if you have the crack version then it will work better so so I'm opening it you play this all a minute now I'm going to show you the other steps with my hand cam as my record will decrease the performance of the game so let me own it so it's happening actually I'm recording my voice after making a video so it can be an awkward one but for the next day I will record with my voice only so okay here is you know, my games so this way it was dark so I saw. Here we go. Now, before opening every every games, I will recommend you to go to Tax Manager and un just in touch the unused unused software. It means see, many software are taking your RAM, which is too heavily used, that it just eat up your RAM like nothing. It means you guys can see Ubisoft Connect also taking a lot of RAM, but you can do anything. You can do only one thing in that. That you can just load the your priority and just affinity. Load the priority, it will take a less amount of RAM than usual. So you can do that in stream also. You can do that. So and see, a lot of stuffs are working, but I will I will not recommend you to close Microsoft system. So now you have to go to startup and disable all the startups except the things which you need so I have already did it so now you guys can go to tame folders 
and just delete all of these app data and theme folders you know if you are you know many person also know that you have to delete all these files just quick you know delete you can just skip maximum of the people know that that how to delete app data files theme files junk files so if you don't know that then you can see the video from my description there I have not I one of my friends has shown how to clear the RAM uh, not clear the RAM whatever what the hell I'm talking about man so here comes my handicap video so now I am updating my was it too so now I will show you that as the lowest resolution you can play in Watch Dogs 2 is 1080 1, by uh, 720i case. So now how you have to do it 1 is 800 into 600. So just follow my step. You have to go to display settings. And then you have to select the display resolution to 800 into 600 so yes that must that you have to do to run it in your pc just change the resolution to 800 into 600 and that will boost up with more by doing this method it will gain you with 15 more fps if it runs with 5 fps earlier then it will run with 20 fps now for sure you guys can see it was saying that my CPU and GPU is not supported. Why isn't it saying that my RAM? Oh, there is also it saying that my RAM is not supported. So it's opening. So here we go. Now what you need to do is go to settings, go to video, then go to window, a wooden lace window, and apply the settings. So you guys can see the borderless windows. You have to keep it in borderless windows only. Okay, guys. Don't do it to full skin. I did it earlier for prints. You don't have to do it to full skin bottle lace, but you have to do it to bottle lace window. I will change it later. You will see in another of the video I have changed to bottle lace window because in bottle lace window you will get a lot more FPS than bottle lace full skin. So let it be load. It take it will take a lot of time for me to load. So it's loading. So guys. If, if this video if this video work for you guys please subscribe and like my channel like my channel sorry like my video and subscribe my channel I'm just getting mad this please my channel is not at all growing I saw I saw that my Richard Tree lack fix video is getting a lot of views so I thought of making another video of fixing lack which helped me to play guys I don't have a PC rather than this one this low end PC so I'm, I I can't tell you like guys this is a, if this is the performance which I'm getting my laptop you guys can see I don't have another PC if I would have a good gaming PC then I could just stream games and do some gameplays but I'm not posting any gameplays as I can't run in game so I'm just using sorry it's open okay guys you can see finally the game has opened but it's not that much it's running but it's shuttering a little bit right so how to fix that shutter I will show you so first of all I'm going to show you the card in walking it will get it will, it will not lag while walking but if you get in the car then see what it happens so it's pretty good than earlier but it's still shuttering so how to fix the shutter what do you need to do wait okay Right. It's still I'm pretty sick, but it's a little bit shuttering, not lag. This is happening because my RAM is being utilized by 90%. So what you need to do is just limit the RAM to 90%. So how do we do that? Just follow my safe. You are having main reddick running in background, right? So what you need to do is tap on a main reddick and go to go to Clean win and all above. So tap it here. Tap on the red memory reddict. Start selecting as 90% of RAM is already used. Okay. So now go to when it above 90%. 90%. Okay. Now see it is now 70% utilized. It will go to 77%. So 
so for 90 percent now what do you need to do now now what the next you can do wait a minute um now go to say and now see now see it is running more better than earlier but now that's also not good so much so now what you need to do is go to settings this boy this just boost another fps let's see what you need to do just just limit the fps to 30 yes guys to 30 just do it to 30 and it will get a lot of fps let's see you will get a constant 30 fps is better than getting a random fps so see the constant 30 fps you will get it is locked in 30 fps so you will get no less no more than 30 fps so this will boost a lot more fps you guys can see it's running better so it will be just a little bit shorter there so it's running better than earlier as it is boosting with 20 F to 30 fps now so you guys can see now i'm also going to show you how i it will do when i drive a car it's not a car it's a bike like thing so Yeah, it's okay it's running good but if you crashing something it just drop a little bit but not that much it will drop so I'm gonna perform an emote let's dance let's just dance here we go F F1 okay here we go so it's giving me good FPS now so now I'm gonna show you how much FPS we will get when you are in a road or in a in a place where there is full of NPCs and cars. So let's go to a place where there is full of NPCs and cars. Okay, it's just shuttering a little bit as RAM utilization are increasing, but it will not shutter like that. It will shorter a little bit, guys, because because your PC is just a mess for handling this type of games. But I'm just giving a tweak that will help to run the game you guys will know you guys know that gta 5 will run in your pc but as it is optimized this game is so lowly optimized actually ubisoft is not good in making a golf game optimized so that's not my fault man so you guys see it's limited to 77 fps now so let's go I'm, I'm just giving you giving you a guarantee that you will not get this video in a whole YouTube. I because I'm just suffering with this and I just find out then how to fix this so I'm making a video. I have planned to make this video uh, one month earlier but I'm too lazy to edit the video so I'm um, now also I'm too lazy so I'm not editing I'm just recording my voice. You guys can see this is a pretty cool in a full of road cars. You can see it's not lagging that much, man. This running well. See the car are going and it's giving me good FPS. That's enough, man. I'm not getting this much FPS earlier. I'm getting like this shuttering. I can do my first mission only with my computer. But I now the next two. If this also doesn't work in your PC, only one one thing just left. That is just you need to download MGG for now and you can play it if you have the you play or stream version of the game or the epic game version of the game. So you guys can see this is giving me a good FPS in water as well. Graphics is not looking so bad, but this is also okay. This game is okay. So please like, please thumbs up. Please subscribe if this video worked for you. So see you next time.